Okay, we're back down here near the water. It's uh, Wednesday now, around 10, 10.30. Just want to give you a good shot. We're down here below, which I believe this one is the Manhattan Bridge. Pretty sure it is. We started to walk across it, and I may do that before the day's over, but we still are going to see what it takes to get over to the Statue of Liberty. We've uh, been doing a lot of walking around last night. Walking around a lot. Today I went all the way from 26th Street up in Chelsea, walked all the way down, went to 3rd Avenue, came all the way down to the Bowery, it took me to Market Strip, which is a lot of fish markets and smells really bad, all the Chinese fish markets and everything, but it's an experience. But I think this is a Brooklyn Bridge, but anyway, walked all the way down here, I think C Point Park, I think that's it over there, I'm not sure, I need to look at my map. But uh, yeah, it's hot and humid in the city. Not seriously hot, just really humid. But down here, the cool air coming off all the water is nice. Makes me wish I had my fishing pole again. Hey, right, I'll show you what else we get into today. All right, we strolled our way up to Pier 17. Thought this would be kind of cool to put on film. Got a little tugboat pulling a big barge. See a lot of nice looking sailboats around here. Be nice to have money to play with that kind of stuff, I guess. Be a cool way to live. There's one of the cruise ships that you can go on, one of the tour ships. I did a four hour tour. I won't do this this year. We might get on film next year or whenever. But I'll go on it again because the four hour tour I really like. They take you around the entire island of Manhattan. If you get tired of walking, it's a nice, relaxing four hours to spend sitting down. Enjoy the coolness off the water, stuff like that, and they take you all the way around Manhattan Island. And um, there's a lot of nice places on the river. This river is surprisingly clean to me. Uh, people can say what they want about the Hudson River, you know, uh, and Harlem River where they join, then they go out in the ocean. But I tell you what, Ohio River in Louisville, it stinks badly in the summer. This river has no smell. Other than natural smell of a waterway, you know, you got your fish and your wildlife, and there is an odor, but it don't smell like stinking sewer. Like our Ohio River in Louisville, that is supposed to be so much cleaner. It's not. Before you judge New York, you should come here. All right, here's the deal. We are not going to the Statue of Liberty this year. Let me uh, fill you in on a little important information on the impossible task of going to the Statue of Liberty and getting inside it. You need to um, go online and buy those tickets go on Saturday. Don't be fooled by these boats right here. And as soon as these people get out of the way, these signs. Look at that, Statue of Liberty tickets. That might make a person think, yeah, okay. This is where to go. Big long line over there. But um, I asked the, uh, I guess they were guards before I get in line. Tell me the truth. Does this boat actually drop you off at the statue at Liberty Island? And can I go inside the statue? Well, it, this one actually does drop you off at the island. You can get right up to it, touch it, all that crap. But I want to go inside of it, so I'm waiting. Uh, you have to buy tickets in advance to go inside. They do not sell them on the island, I guess because they run out. They told me you can take a gamble and get here very, very early in the morning, and they hand out like 100 tickets. But if you go there, and they've already handed them out, sold them, I'm sure, well then, you got to look. You wasted your money. I'm sure it's a decent cruise. It's like 17 bucks. I think all it does is take you around the island once. But... Before I spent that much, I think I might do the four-hour um, boat tour that I went on one year. I think that's what I'm going to do today. So, word to the wise, you know, do your research if you want to do the Statue of Liberty thing and really want to go inside the statue. I opted to wait. Sorry, uh, my whole video led us to not going to the Statue of Liberty. I think I'm going to title this video, How Not to Go to Statue of Liberty. But uh, it's okay. We've seen a lot of cool stuff. And uh, we're going to take a boat ride anyway. I'm going to do a little more walking. I'm going to go to um, another boat tour that I went on a few years back. It's a pretty nice tour. Okay. 
We're forgetting about Statue of Liberty, like I said, onward and forward. Uh, we're going to look at some other stuff. Here's a Korean War memorial. Memorial. Figured I'd show that since my dad was in the Korean War. He was in the Navy, amphibious. Pretty cool little place. Just showing this, giving you time to read it all. Hopefully, I'll leave the camera focused on it long enough. Another little memorial, American Merchant Mariners Memorial. And I'm not sure if this exhibit is finished yet or not. You can't get to it. You got that blocked off. Still working on it. They're putting a lot of new stuff up out here. This one's all said and done. There will be lots and lots to look at if you just go down to the shoreline and walk around the bottom part of uh, Manhattan Island. That's pretty cool looking set up there. I like that. And there's your New York water tax again. Actually, that's if you want to just go for a boat ride for cheap, for, and it can also be a good way to commute uh, around Manhattan. I think for like 25 bucks, maybe a little more, you get an all-day ticket, jump on and off. We got stops almost all the way, not all the way, about halfway around the island. Let's say you want to do something around 40th Street, then you want to go back down to Soho area. Uh, you can walk back to the water line and find you that uh, water taxi, take you all the way back around. Get cooled off around the water with the cool air is blowing on you and then you can be at another part of Manhattan a lot quicker than if you walk. Alright, we got another Navy memorial here. This is for all the uh, Navy guys who lost their lives in World War II, I guess from 41 to 45 like it says. And I guess all these walls have pictures. They're not pictures, I'm sorry. Uh, signet names of the those tough guys who lost their lives fought for our freedom. I'm sure there's signatures on both sides. Uh, it says 4,597 of them. Nice little memorial, though. Yeah, there's the Statue of Liberty again, which we're not going to go inside today. We'll get it next year. I know what to do now. They. They almost make it seem like the impossible task. Finally, I talked to some guys who I think were honest to me. At least they didn't tell me, yeah, yeah, our boat goes there. You know, they take you around it. All right, I think this is one of the antique boat exhibits, some old, large sailboats. I don't know how old these are supposed to be. I don't see any info on them. Get ready to rain on us. I might have to take refuge here and grab me a bite to eat. And I see some harbor cruises. We might see what they got to offer. I can't find the circle line. I think it's on the other side of the island. If uh, the harbor cruises got something I like, I'll take it. If not, I might get on a water taxi and take a ride to circle line cruises and see if I can get that around Manhattan Island cruise. That's a pretty nice cruise. Get to see nice parts of actually, you wouldn't believe it, Harlem River. It's got some nice areas. You think of Harlem River, you think of a uh, dirty, nasty river running by a ghetto, <laughs> but actually Harlem has cleaned up a lot. I have not been to Harlem yet. I heard they turned it all trendy and vacation-y or whatever. It's not a scary part of New York anymore. Or dangerous, should I say? Yeah. See another one over there. I get shy of it when I walk over there. Yeah, it's getting ready to storm, so. Actually, the rain feels pretty good. It's not enough to get me really wet. 
just uh, enough to feel good. One of these years, I'm going to see if there's some kind of a fishing cruise you can take. I need to get online and do my research before I come up here. A lot of times I act on impulse and just go. Here's one of the sea cruise boats that I might be on. Not sea cruise, but river cruise. grab a bite to eat and see what else we can get into. YouTube. We're going to end this uh, series of New York New York trip 2013 right here is raining on me again the uh, all-day pass for New York tech for the uh, water cab the water taxi I stayed on for a little while we got some video of the uh, Statue of Liberty as you've already seen by the time this video is made but uh, have to edit the sound out because they started playing a bunch of music that I can't have on my channel because of copyright issues and the whole Google AdSense thing. So you'll probably get some silent video of the Statue of Liberty. Uh, didn't get to go inside, but the all-day pass for water taxi gives you a good close-up look of it. Uh, to get up in the crown of that Statue of Liberty, like I said before, you got have to get a crown ticket, and that's got to be done ahead of time. That's something you just can't buy at the gate. Uh, I guess it's... Uh, the most highly demanded ticket but anyway here's a shot of the new Madison Square Garden pull my camera in we're going to end it right here we are standing at the United States post office building which is kind of a cool building in itself give you a shot of it get down these steps slippery wet steps far enough without falling and busting my rear end Pretty awesome looking building in itself. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna find me a steak and go back to the motel room and watch it rain, I guess. Okay, we're just now getting home from the airport from New York. We'll try to do a video and see how my 
I'm a little dog angel reacts after being away for four days. She's been here by herself. My mother come by twice a day to feed her. She's always stayed safe in the pen. Let's see how she acts. She must be asleep in the garage. This is what she usually does whenever I'm not here. She uses her little doggy door. And she sleeps in the garage. She does it all day when I'm at work. She shut this key off. This thing is so hard to do one hand of this camera. Okay, we're gonna try to sneak. We might get marked at too. I'm gonna try to sneak in here. Oh, she probably heard the door slam. I bet she's she'll probably come busting out of here barking maybe. Or she might know it's me once she realizes someone's here. She must be in the garage. Hmm. So how did the wheelbarrow get thrown over? <clears throat> I wonder if she did that. Let's see if she's in here. Hey, what are you doing? What you doing? What she What are you doing, buddy? What you doing, girl? She you you was hiding there all scared. Look at ya. <laughs> What's the matter? Yeah, I got you now. Oh. <laughs> well, ain't you excited to see me? Huh? <clears throat> Where you going? What you after? It's me. Come here. <laughs> Come here. There you go. <laughs> you just uh, hiding. What would you think somebody's coming to get you, huh? <laughs> what you doing, girl? Did you miss me? I missed you. Yes, I did. What you sniffing on? What you smell? You smell New York City, don't you, huh? All the food and the whatever. <laughs> Everything else. What you doing? All right. Well, there it is. Angel's reaction to me being gone for four days. She did not, she was scared to come out of the garage. She thought an intruder had come to get her. I didn't expect that. I thought she'd come blazing out, growling and a barking and a snarling. Okay, I guess after this video, I got a lot of editing. Well, before this video, I got a lot of editing to do for my uh, New York trip. I didn't get to put a lot of stuff on there. I wanted to, but... Um, after that, we got to get back on our power stroke. Thanks for watching, peoples.